Welcome to a lesson on how to determine a derivative function value on the newer version of the TI-84. I do have another lesson that shows how to find a derivative function value on the older version of the 84 or the 83. Remember the TI-84 will not find a derivative function, but it will determine a derivative function value at a given input. Let's look at two examples. Number one, we're given the function f of x equals two x cubed minus x squared plus five x minus seven and ask to determine f prime of two, which means you want to evaluate the derivative function at x equals two. And we'll do this on the graphing calculator. From the home screen, we press math. We want option eight for numerical derivative. We can press eight or scroll down to eight. Press enter. Next, because we're finding the derivative with respect to x, we enter x here. Next, we enter the function, which is two x cubed so two x, here's the exponent key. The exponent is three. To get out of the exponent position, we press the right arrow, and then minus x, here's the squared key, plus five x, minus seven. Press the right arrow again. We want to evaluate the derivative at x equals two, so we press two, and then enter. Looking at our derivative function value, we need to recognize the calculator has a slight error here. The derivative function value, or f prime of two, is actually 25, not the value shown here. So f prime of two is equal to 25. Remember this tells us that the slope of the tangent line at x equals two is 25. Example two, we're given f of x equals cosine x minus tangent x, and we're asked to determine f prime of three. So notice here the input is an angle, and we assume the angle is in radians. So when we evaluate the derivative function, at x equals three radians. So we first want to make sure the calculator is in radian mode. So we'll press the mode key. Notice in this third row, radian is highlighted. If it wasn't, we would go down to radian and press enter so that radian is highlighted. And now we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode, and then we press math, we want option eight, so we could just press eight, or we can scroll down to eight. Press enter. Again, we're finding the derivative with respect to x, so we enter x here. Then our function, which is cosine x, close parenthesis, minus tangent x, close parenthesis, right arrow. We want to evaluate the derivative at x equals three radians. So we press three and then enter. So to four decimal places, f prime of three is approximately negative 1.1614. Which again means the slope of the tangent line at x equals three is approximately negative 1.1614. I hope you found this helpful.